In this example, we need to solve the following inequality, graph the solution set on a number line, and write the solution in interval notation. Well, we're told it's inequality. It has a greater than in the problem. And what's the highest exponent on any of our x's? A 1. So this is a linear inequality. And how do we solve those? We solve linear inequalities in one variable just like linear equations in one variable with two exceptions. The first is when you multiply or divide the inequality by a negative number that reverses the inequality symbol. Notice a negative number. And if you interchange the two sides of the inequality, that also reverses the inequality symbol. So anything else is just like solving an equation. So let's look at our problem here. If this was an equation, what would you do first? The first thing you do is distribute the 4 into the parentheses. That won't change the inequality. So my left-hand side have unlike terms. I can't combine them. So I'm just going to bring down my 11x plus 3 is greater than 4 times 2x is 8x, and 4 times 1 is plus 4. Bring down the minus x minus 13. Now bring down the left-hand side because I can't combine that x and the constant. So I get 11x plus 3 is greater than. Now on the right-hand side, I have like terms. I have an 8x minus x. So that's 8x minus 1x is 7x. And then I have two constants, plus 4 and minus 13, which is minus 9. So now, I can I combine any terms on this side? No. So I'm going to have to collect all my x's on one side, and I want to collect them on this side. So I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides, and adding and subtracting things from both sides of an inequality doesn't change the inequality symbol. So I get 11x minus 7x is 4x plus 3 is greater than 7x minus 7x is 0, so it just leaves me with negative 9 on the right-hand side. Now I need to get x all by itself, so I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. Again, that won't change the inequality symbol. So I'm going to get 4x plus 3 minus 3 is 0, so just 4x on the left-hand side is greater than negative 9 added to negative 3 is a negative 12. Remem remembering add to, adding two integers with the same sign, you keep the sign and add 9 and 3 to get 12. And now to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by positive 4. Is that going to change the inequality symbol? No, it's only when you multiply or divide by a negative number. So I'm going to divide both sides by positive 4. And I'm going to get x is greater than a negative divided by a positive is a negative. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So my solution is any value of x that is greater than negative 3. So I've solved the inequality. I need to graph the solution set. So here's my number line. Here's my negative 3 x has to be greater than negative 3, so I have to shade to the right of the negative 3, put an arrow pointing to positive infinity, and it's greater than, which means negative 3 is not part of the solution. So you use a parenthesis on the negative 3. So there's the graph of my solution set. And remember, the interval notation is just a concise version of the graph. Where's my interval start? Parentheses negative 3, comma, all the way up to positive infinity or just infinity. And you always use parentheses with infinity and negative infinity.